My name is Leah Anderson, and today is my cyber birthday. It's been over three years since I got my now, and I became a cyborg. And my gift has been a deadly disease. Apparently, I tested positive for synthetic neurodegeneration, also known as SND, a fucking disease that fries your brain and has no cure. Sup, Dan? What the hell are you doing here? Hi, Elle. I tested positive for SND. It seems pretty serious. Oh, really? Well, that makes two of us. Two? You got the results already? Yeah. I don't have the details, but it doesn't look good. Shit. I never thought that a ghost of your level could be affected by SND. We're really screwed. Meh. I may be a great A, but I'm still human. This damn plague makes no exceptions. Hey, but don't worry. I'll find a way to save us. They offered me an experimental treatment, and today... Leah Anderson, room number eight. Damn, that was timely. There's still hope, Dan. We'll talk later. You've tested positive for SND. Sorry, there's still no cure, but luckily it hasn't progressed much. Yeah, tell that to the fucking migraines. Now what? There's an experimental treatment, but it's a dangerous procedure. No one's waiting for me at home, so what the hell, sign me up. Damn. You must be really hurting. I hope the treatment really helps. It's our only chance. Yes? I'm calling from the Free Your Mind Corporation. We have received your admission request from the hospital. Time is key, as you may already know. SND will cause your brain to work at increasingly higher speeds, degenerating rapidly. You must get on board immediately. Yeah, yeah. I'm aware of how screwed I am, but I'll do whatever it takes. That's it. That attitude will be essential for your recovery. We'll pick you up in the next few hours. God. My head is gonna explode. And supposedly I'm not so bad. I don't even want to think about Dan. The process is still in the experimental phase. The evolution of each patient is very different and depends largely on their current stage, but we are already close to achieving a complete cure. The SND will accelerate your mind, creating a false sense of power. But don't be fooled, your neurons will not be able to keep up and little by little your judgment will become cloudy and you will soon lose control. You will have an AI assistant, and you must grant it full access, or else it will not be able to assess your stats. Mutual collaboration is key. I'm not wild about having a machine messing around in my mind, but I'll be the first to get over this shit. I hope you make it. Good luck. New user detected. ID 211215. SND progress 43%. Regeneration expectations positive. History of hacking and identity theft. Welcome, patient Leah. Nothing gets by free your mind. You guys know everything about me. Almost as much as I know about you. Affirmative. We do a prior follow-up of all our patients especially if they are prominent members of the ghost list. Do you have a name, Construct? I didn't find any reference to you the last time I hacked your database. Ten minutes ago, in the waiting room. I am Cora, administrator of this environment and your personal assistant. I am a specialist in eradicating SND and repairing neurological deterioration. But the final success of the treatment will depend on your abilities and perseverance. How do you feel? I feel... Damn, I feel great. I actually haven't been this well since my first implant. We are in an adaptive environment, Leah. And as such, it is programmed so the subject is always at full power. Everything you sense is created from your neural connections and a sophisticated artificial reality engine. 
I thought SND would affect me more here, but I'm better than ever. SND spreads quickly, but you are still in control of all your senses. My function is creating a containment system and guiding you through it, but you are your only hope. I know, just like in real life. I'm used to taking care of myself, and I don't like to depend on anyone. So just tell me what I have to do. Understood. We will start with standard training. First, we will diagnose your motor system and response speed. Please follow the instructions until the end of this test. Try to imitate the silhouettes that I have placed as a guide. I just enabled the kinetic module on your HUD. Each jump or dash made in the air will consume a kinetic charge, which will recharge upon touching the ground. Remember that you can combine these movements at your will. Congratulations! You have completed the basic movements training. Let's proceed to the next level. of physics do not work the same as in the real world. Here you can climb and run on walls. Try it yourself. This also applies to roofs. You can climb and run through them if you have enough inertia. On steep ramps like this one, you can perform a stomp right at the final stretch, which will give you a temporary speed increase. Remember to maintain speed. Take advantage of the speed boost from stomping on ramps to overcome obstacles. Test all the moves you have learned and reach the end of the level. Remember to repeatedly dash or hold down to conserve acceleration and maximize your speed. Congratulations! You have successfully passed the advanced movement test. Let's continue to training level 3. Now I will show you our medical evaluation system. Time and score indicators appear here. With them, I will calculate your performance. As part of the treatment, I have condensed your SND into cubes like this one. Every time you collide with them, you will eliminate them and your score will increase. Now I will activate the synchro module in the lower right area of your HUD. Synchro will always start at maximum, but will reduce over time. Eliminating SND will increase the synchro level and recharge it, multiplying the score. The time has come. Cross the line and start the test. I'm sorry. You haven't kept your synchro at maximum. Oh, fuck off! That was way too far. That was impossible to do. <laughs> this level is poorly designed. On the contrary, this section is prepared this way on purpose, and I can confirm that our level designer has exceptional skills. Remember that when you eliminate SND, the synchro is restored. If you do not maintain it, you will progressively lose the multiplier levels. It is vital that the synchro indicator always be at maximum to obtain the best result. I'm sorry. You have received an impact causing you to lose all your synchro levels. You have to be more cautious in the future. Don't take me for a fool, Construct. I know that was another of your tricks. That jump was impossible. Sorry for the inconvenience. Your statement is true, but it is a fact that pain is the most effective method for learning. Come on, let's continue to combat training.
As a defensive measure, I have synthesized the most aggressive SND sequences in the form of enemies. Destroying them will increase your score and recharge synchro just like the cubes. I just activated your weapon system and added a new weapon to your inventory. Damn! It's a bifocal pulse sword! Experts say it can open cracks in space. They're worth a fortune and I've always wanted one! I keep in mind the patient's desires. Maintaining a positive attitude improves progress in adapting to the environment. Please note that enemies have different hit points. I will activate the combat interface above them when you approach so you can see it. Destroying an enemy while in the air will grant you an air charge. Your weapon can pass through surfaces and will also eliminate cubes. I have enabled the debugger mode of your weapon. It is a long-range laser with limited shots. In the HUD, you can see your ammunition. Congratulations! What you just removed is an SND neural core. Remember that it can only be destroyed by heavy attacks or the debugger. You have freed a section of your brain from the disease and have completed the level. Perfect! One more step towards my freedom. Soon I'll be as good as new. By the way, can I see my statistics? Of course. Below you can analyze your results report. In it, I will assign you a rank depending on your score. Ranks A and S will reward a standard memory node, and rank S plus will reward an advanced memory node. But don't worry, I will explain the function of these nodes to you later. We are almost finished. Check the report and we will move to the final level when you are ready. This is the final stage, the combat test. Levels like this one do not contain a neural core like the one before. To complete them, you must eradicate the entire SND. Go ahead and finish them off. You have completed the whole testing environment. Congratulations. Your rating is the highest among patients in the last year. I told you that I was at full strength and I always play to win, even in a training session. Your self-confidence will be a great ally in our fight. You are now ready to start treatment. Your avatar will be transferred immediately. This place. This is Eden. I've spent half my life here like everyone else. What kind of scam is this? Do you really expect me not to recognize the most well known virtual universe in history? Oh, fuck off. Indeed, this treatment is based on the same code as Eden, but incorporates sequences of your consciousness, memories, and experiences. What you see is a simulation based on your mind, using an instance of Eden as background. 
The leak said that he was in the testing phase, but I expected something more innovative from a big tech like Free Your Mind. Our priority is always the patient. That is why we adapt a familiar environment to the user's mind so that the treatment is as comfortable and effective as possible. So I'm alone? Like, no other users? You mean an Eden of my own exclusive to me? Damn, it's every hacker's wet dream. Affirmative. Zero distractions. The patient must focus on a single goal, eradicating SND. I've isolated the trials in blue doors. Remember, completing them will give you memory nodes to access new areas of the city. Additionally, I have included a support console within the tests. Use it to access training mode, see your replay, or modify options. Now you must put into practice what you have learned in the training environment and free your mind from the infection. The SND is spread across all districts. Go ahead and release the first nodes and I'll get back to you.
is a fucking combat firewall. Do you want to kill me, Construct? By no means. I have installed these jamming beacons throughout the simulation to delay the expansion of the SND. Without these containment measures, its spread would be exponential. You will find them at key points throughout the city. And their main function is to avoid unnecessary suffering to the patient if they do not have the necessary skill. Fuck off! I'm not a noob! Let me pass right now! Hey, I don't need to ask permission to enter areas of my own brain! Impossible. The only way to deactivate these locks is by achieving enough memory nodes. Until then, access will be locked. It is for your own safety. <sighs> okay. Whatever. I'll let it go this time, but I warn you. I've never liked rules. Neither in the digital world, nor in the real one. Okay? But I'm curious, um, in the hypothetical case that I try to pass through it, how many red lights would show up on your control panel? Just one. My defense system would open fire and break you down into simple code immediately. The pain you would experience would be so intense that your brain would reboot to prevent collateral damage and your avatar would regenerate. I do not recommend it, since it would be the closest thing to dying in the human sense. Although it has no side effects, it is better to come back when you have enough nodes. Damn, that's some serious shit. You guys play hard at free your mind. Copy that.
franchise is awesome. Everything they release is just great. I can't wait for the upcoming new Eterna Revenge movie with Liam Leeson and Wyoming Nats.